This tutorial is going to be geared for people that either buy those uh, text SVG files that want to make them, trying to get into them, or whatever. Maybe something like this or something like that. Either way, these are so simple to make with just simple free software. I mean, we could probably do it from start to finish in just a couple minutes. So let's save you some money and let you customize it how you want to rather than using somebody else's stuff. If you see any value in this video, please hit the like, hit the subscribe. So the programs we're gonna be using for this are generally free. We have Inkscape, which is 100% free to use. We're gonna be using a snippet tool, which is on any Windows PC. And then I want you to use your favorite preferred text software. I'm going to be using Microsoft Word. Obviously, that one's not free, but there's plenty of free ones out there. I'm assuming you already have a favorite because generally people type on their computers. I mean, even Notepad might work for this. So let's get to it. We're going to start with Microsoft Word, and we're just going to make one super quick. Here is a image that I found on Google of just some text art that I figured I would try to mimic to kind of show you how easy it is. So the first thing I want to do is just type it how I want it. You will forever be my always. Now, as far as the text font and stuff, I'm just using basic right now. Uh, they used capital in the top and third lines. I'll just mimic it just to show you how easy it is. Um, let's make it bigger. Generally, you want to make it big enough to fill the width of the screen. Um, I will be getting rid of these up here at the end. But so I have these centered because generally these text SVG files are justified in the center. So now you just go through and pick a font that you want. What I like most about doing it in Word is really easy to install fonts and what and stuff in your Word while Inkscape, which is what we're gonna do later, is a little bit more difficult and there's extra steps involved when it comes to text. So that's why I'm gonna do it this way. I, th I think Algerian is fine. So let's go ahead and just pick those for these two lines. And then for these ones, let's make it a little more cursive. So that's brush script. And then I don't like it that small, so let's go ahead and bump that up to 140. Looks a little bit better. Okay, now I can delete that. Oop. Let's go ahead and reduce my spacing. And this will be something that you just make it look how you want to in Word or like I said, any other type of software that you use for your text editing. Now that we have our fonts and stuff how we like it, let's go ahead and use our snippet tool. I use the snipping tool so often that I lock it to the taskbar. So you wanna make sure that you're, you do not have your cursor anywhere in here because anything that you use the snipping tool on will show up in your snipping tool and then end up in your project. So just bring your cursor down below so it's nowhere to be seen. You wanna make this as big as possible. The bigger you make it, the cleaner your SVG file is gonna be. So in Word, I can control scroll and it makes them bigger. I think that's probably good enough. So in your snipping tool, you wanna open it up and hit this new button. And all you're doing is clicking and dragging what you're taking an image of. And it's basically like you copied that. So now we wanna to go to our Inkscape. I will have a download link in the description below so you can go to Inkscape and get it yourself. So this is a new document. I want to just come in here and control V and now I have my text in here. This is obviously just an uh, image of what I made. This is not the SVG file. So 
I want to right click on it and then go to trace bitmap. This nice little box like this comes up. It's going to take the black text and change it into some into vectoring. I see I did not have that lowercase a. That's fine. I'm not in here for aesthetics. I'm just showing you how to do this. So what you want to do is you want to get this brightness threshold as high as possible before everything turns black. And because it is text and is because it is purely black and purely white, you should be able to get this up very high. So I'm going to go with 0.95. And then if I say update, you can see that this SVG is, should turn out fairly well. And if I say, okay, okay, so now I have a vectorized image of it. Now what you can do is you can tell that this one is the vector because it is right to the outline why this one goes all the way out. So this one, this is the copied image that I brought in. I can delete that. And now I have my nice vectored text. If I hit the nodes, you can see that it has all of these data points. And like I said, the bigger you made it, the more crisp it's going to be. So because right now it is all one and I want to adjust like how they're positioned, what I would do is I will hit shift control K and that uh, makes every single bit of it, uh, it breaks it all apart. So now what I wanna do is select each line and hit control K on it and it will bring each one of these pieces back together. So now I have each line as a vectored image. So let's see, I want to make this bigger. Uh, the best thing to do is hit this lock aspect ratio, unless of course you don't want to lock the aspect ratio, it's up to you. Um, but I, I hit that and I hit, I hold shift and then it keeps it in the right place. I can make it bigger, smaller, whatever I want to do. Leave that up to you. Maybe I can put that here Put that right there maybe make this as big as the forever i don't know i'll leave that up to up to you and your aesthetic style maybe this one comes down and sits nicely in there and there we go that's done all I have to do is I would save this. Let's just save it in my documents. Oh, it is now an SVG file that I can cut or etch depending on what you want to do. So to show you what it would look like as a cut, is what it would look like as a cut. Those lines, those lines would cut on either a laser, a vinyl cutter, whatever you're using. And it's that simple. The only problem with doing it in Inkscape on its own is a lot of times when you make text, there are overlapping pieces, especially when it comes to cursive, where you have these pieces of the F that want to be cursive and they go into another letter. This image will loop and you'll have weird extra cuts if you etch both of those, even though it doesn't look like they're there, they will like double etch pieces of it or it will cut out a big notch in this O. So that's why I like to do it this way because it takes out that step because sometimes it, it's really hard to see, especially when you leave it in this, this filled in style. You can't see what is actually gonna be cut. Honestly, making text art is really that simple. I challenge you the next time you wanna go buy one, just do it yourself. I sell them, but please don't buy them from me. Make them yourself. The cool part about that is they're not gonna be like anybody else's. They're gonna be how you want them. Thank you for watching and please hit that like, hit that subscribe and come back for another video. Take care. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm, um, I need to take a shower before I go to bed.
Yeah. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. The weather outside is dreadful.